Thanks for staying with us. A little block of wood, four wheels that turn, a window big enough to put your finger through it, and imagine this, you own it. In tonight's Utah Caring Stories, Doug Jessup follows their journey on the road to making children happy. Welcome to Tiny Tim's Toy Factory. The need is 500 million. The Tiny Tim Foundation has made and given away over a million cars around the world. Bruce and Karen Powell delivered cars to Guatemala. We were in a village up above Antigua, Guatemala, working on a school, and we ended up passing out a car to each one of the kids. So tell me about these pictures. Probably one of my favorite pictures is a little preschool girl and it's almost like she has a dolly because she's cradling her car and I, I just, that one was really sweet. It started off with about four of them and they would spread their legs until they touched each other creating kind of an arena for these cars and they room, room, and then they would actually crash into each other. Oh, demolition yeah. There. Yeah. 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 I guess it's universal, right? This is, for some kids, the only thing that they'll ever own until they become adults. Puts in perspective, doesn't it? It really does. When you have nothing, a little car like this can mean I have ownership in something. And I have something I can play with. So why do you guys do what you do? It gives you reality. It shows you how wonderful people are, how loving they can be when they have nothing. And for me, it, it gives me great hope and trust in humanity. These stories deserve to be told. These are Utah Caring Stories. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News. Tiny Tim's Toy Factory, that is amazing. Just puts in perspective what one little toy can do for a kid. If you want to see more Utah Caring Stories and nominate a person for Doug to profile, just go to abc4.com caring.